Hello and welcome. This will be my first project on the worker bee. And just like in any other form of word working, we need to use clamps to hold down the material so that way we can manipulate it to however we see fit. And the CMC machine is no different as it needs clamps to hold down the stock so it can run its path. So for this video, I'm going to be making this combination cam and step clamp. I hope you enjoy. For the clamps, I have this small piece of scrap oak that I'm going to use. We're now in Bcar Pro, and what we're going to do is create a new file, and we're going just to input the dimensions of the oak piece I got. So it's 533 millimeters wide, 95 tall, and it has a depth of 11.8. And I just tab through there so I can get everything done. Um, let's see, bottom left hand corner, that's okay. And right, so the can clamp is basically two shapes a rectangle and a circle. So we're going to make a rectangle there of 106 millimeters wide. Tab down, and it's going to be 27 millimeters tall. Hit apply, and then close out, and then grab a circle here. And we're going to make that circle 52 millimeters wide. And I'm going to close out and just use the arrow keys on my keyboard to slide this thing into place. And I think that's just about right where I want it. And then I'm just going to zoom in and grab the trim tool, scissors, and just clip off the bits so that way I'm ending up with the outline of our shape that we want. Okay, so first thing I want to do is actually change the outline a little bit and okay two millimeters that will be good um, right here on these corners i want to just smooth those out a little bit and right here and here i want to smooth that out so that way machine's going across it's not doing so much more of a 90 but a gentle slope so i'm going to change that to uh eight millimeters and see what I get. Okay, that looks great. And okay, so not much change there, but that looks a lot better. Okay, so then go back to circle, and it's going to be a five millimeter for the bolt to slide on through. And I'm going to close out of that. And again, arrows on the key board right here and I think that will be fine right about there as it has a thin part right there and thicker as it goes along given that good eccentric cam appearance. Okay and then go back to here for the slot in this one I am going to use a rounded and it's set up at 2.5 that's fine with me. So I'm going to make it, uh, yeah, that's fine right there. But it does have to be five millimeters tall for the bolt. Okay, close up and back to the arrows. And I'm going to just slip that right about there. And basically I slip that behind so that way if the machine does come and starts chewing this up, I'm not going to end up with an open clamp. Um, right, so everything's done right there. So I'm going to zoom back out onto the whole piece and highlight that right there and use my arrows on the keyboard to drop it into the bottom left corner right there. So where well, that's highlighted, I'm going to go over to the mirror. Yeah, mirror. And I want to 
flip this, but at the same time make a copy. So I'm going to create a mirror copy and flip this thing over to the right. So now we got two of them. And I'm going to take the create a copy off and then flip it up to the top. Close that out. And again, arrows on the keyboard to slide it on in. That should be about right. And then all I'm going to do is copy and paste. And then arrows to slide it on over. And again, another paste and slide that one all the way over to the right. Okay, so have a little bit of room to play around with here in case things foul up. But I think we should be good to go over to the toolpaths. So on the way I understand it is that you are best to work from inside out. So what we're going to do is do a pocket toolpath first. And check out here, I want to start off the zero. Um, cut depth, I want to be 11.8, what the board is. Um, end mill, I'm going to remove that because I don't want a quarter inch, I want an eighth inch bit right there. Select that. And then I'm going to select all the circles and slots for the cam. Now, once we have all that done, okay, drop further down here, passes five. I don't think that's quite right. I think uh, 2.3 millimeters is a bit aggressive. Maybe not, don't know. Um, one, one and a half, eight. Let's, let, yeah, let's just try nine passes. Maybe a little bit weak on that, but as I said, I'm new to this in many ways, so I'd rather take my time on the bits. Okay, everything else looks fine. Okay, so on this, I am going to name it Pocket Cam Clamp and calculate that out. Okay, and then close that down. Everything looks good. Go back to the 2D view and click off of others. And then what we're going to do is do the outside of it, our profile. So I'm going to make that into 11.8 as that's the board depth. Uh, I'm going to select an eighth bit and then Select, yep. Okay, in passes, I'll select that in a bit. Uh, so I'm going to select all the outside edges. Maybe, if I can touch it there. Okay, and let's see, edit passes. Um, um, I believe it was, what, eight or nine? Um, oh, now I see what's going on. Um, it should be 11.8, not 1.8. That's a whole different ball of wax. Okay, and it passes. Okay. Computer says it can do it in two. Yeah, um, I'm still, that's a bit aggressive for me. I'm new. So I'll cut that down to eight passes. Um, just a little bit of extra time and see where I go from there. Um, ba, ba, ba. Okay, so I do want to add tabs. Basically, that will hold this the cams in place while the machine's working around them. Okay, and we want to edit tabs. Okay, two tabs, add, and I think uh, three points of contact for uh, stability. So bump that up. Okay, that looks good. And let's see, three mil wide, two mil thickness on the tab. So take that. 
And then we're going to go with a profile cam lamp. Okay, it calculate. And okay, speed looks good. So I want to preview all tool paths. And basically what I'm looking for is making sure all the holes are there and as well all of the tabs are there as well. And this is what it should look like. So I'm happy with that. And what I'm going to do now is click both of these so I get both tool paths. And since they use the same bit, I can merge the tool path and merge by part, merge to tool path and lamp. Okay, click merge. Okay, then click close. You see, since we got that, and now I can kick it on into G code or whatever it is, say tool path. Um, Worker B, yep, do that. And now say toolpath.